The Validine CD23 Carrier Demodulator features a digital display and is used in conjunction with many of our variable reluctance pressure sensors. When troubleshooting a pressure measurement system it is helpful to know if the CD23 is functioning normally. This short instructional video will show you how to test your CD23 to verify that it can be used to calibrate a variable reluctance pressure sensor. Here is a typical pressure measurement system incorporating a Validine DP15 variable reluctance pressure sensor, cable, and CD23 carrier demodulator. The pressure applied to the sensor is converted to a digital display and plus or minus 10 VDC analog output at the binding posts on the rear panel. In order to check the CD23, we first remove the transducer cable that is connected at the rear panel. If the CD23 has been calibrated with a sensor, write down the dial readings on the front panel zero and span adjustments so that these can be reset later. Now we loosen the dial lock and turn the zero adjustment such that the number 5 appears in the dial window and the dial vernier points to zero. Similarly, turn the span adjustment until the number 10 appears in its dial window and the vernier points to zero. Set the CD23 range switch to high. Turn on the CD23 by throwing the power switch to on. The digital display will light up. The standard CD23 display will indicate a reading in percent from 0 to plus or minus 100.0. The 100.0% indication corresponds to the plus 10 VDC analog output signal. When the CD23 is powered it should read near 0%. Verify that by turning the zero adjustment you can set the display to read 0.0%. Now verify that you can read at least plus 40.0% and minus 40.0% on the digital display by turning the zero adjustment as far as possible in each direction. Note that some CD23 models will have a display that does not read in percent. Look up the complete model as listed on the rear panel of the CD23 and consult the datasheet to see. Now tap the zero and span adjustment knobs to see if the signal jumps. It is normal for the display to change slightly with tapping, but a change of several percent may indicate worn potentiometers. If the CD23 can be adjusted to 0 and to at least plus or minus 40.0% then the unit is acting normally. You may be able to adjust the display to much higher or lower values beyond 40%, and this is also normal. The CD23 can also be tested for drift or noise by noting the display readings at regular time intervals or recording the analog output of the CD23 over time using a data logger.
The CD23 carrier demodulator is a very reliable digital display and will perform satisfactorily for many years. The most common problem will be missing digits or a faulty digital display. Consult the factory for repair information. We hope this simple test has been useful in confirming that your CD23 is working correctly. Instruction manuals, data sheets and additional information about the CD23 can be found on our websites www.validion.com and www.validionsupport.com. You can also call technical support at 818886 Thank you for watching, and have a great day.